Hi! Today I thought I'd talk a bit about one of the courses I am taking as part of my exchange student program. I'm taking the Queen Ip program at Kyoto University, which consists of an array of general education courses taught in English. So if your university has this exchange partnership program with Kyoto University, you can come to Kyoto and take about six of these courses which are entirely taught in English about subjects such as um, Japanese literature or business or um, health and exercise. Just real interesting courses that are generally fairly easy to get through. I think it's quite a good opportunity because then you have a lot of time to look around Kyoto and Japan if that's what you want to do on exchange as well. So the course that I want to talk about today is called Food and Agriculture in Japan. Now I know nothing about food or agriculture um, except that Japanese food tastes really great but I thought that I'd take this course just to see just to learn something new and so far I've only been to one class um, because the previous two classes were cancelled due to typhoon and public holiday but um, it was a very interesting class because we ended up going to the rice fields of Kyoto University now I don't know if your university has rice fields but my university back in Auckland certainly doesn't. We don't even have an agricultural faculty, but Kyoto University has an entire agricultural campus. Even though agriculture is a huge part of New Zealand industry, so I don't know what that's about, but I think it's really cool that Kyoto University has its own rice field and some other vegetable fields where they grow other things so I just thought that I wanted to show you guys this today. Hello. Oh, I don't have an We're in Kyoto University's rice paddy. Hi guys. Hi. And this is a class and we receive rice. Rice. And I don't know if we're going to be able to eat it. But yeah. actually we probably not but that's rice. And that is our class member. <gasps> yeah, walking through the <laughs> rice paddy, which is probably planted by students of Kyoto University. And the weather is lovely today, even though there was meant to be a typhoon. Leaving Kyoto University's rice fields. Chun -chun. This is like Kyoto University's uh, veggie paddies greenhouses. It's in the agricultural um, campus. Off topic, but there's a rainbow. And we were just looking at the edamame, which the school is also cultivating in the fields. Our professor is giving out free edamame to everyone. So nice! Oh, we have received our free edamame! I'm going to get rid of the leaves and pick out the good edamame now. It's really embarrassing yesterday because I had to carry this without the plastic bag all the way through campus, which is like about a 10 to 15 minute walk and Everyone was staring at me awkwardly, but that's okay because now I have nice free edamame. So, the leaves are a bit wilted because I left them overnight, but hopefully they still taste fine. Ugh, it's like all my work from last semester. So apparently we're meant to like take the leaves off, which is kind of hard. 
Maybe I should just put the beans off individually. What do you think? Hmm? Maybe I should just Yeah, just pick that off. Yeah. Okay. I'll That's what I did. Yeah. I finally finished washing the edamame beans. It took me so long. Now I'm cooking them using the method shown on cooking with dog. But sadly, my pot is not big enough, so hopefully it turns out alright. Ta-da! Cooked edamame beans. They look a tiny bit yellow, but as long as they taste good, 